if you guys are new here my name is Sam and I'd love to have you guys subscribe today and join the family so today I thought I would just share with you guys a little easy tutorial on how to use claw clips like four different hairstyles that you can do with the claw clip because I know that they are so 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 trendy right now and they're so cute and easy to use I thought in the beginning it would be a lot harder for me to use a claw clip just because I do have very long and thick hair but I actually managed to figure out some tips and tricks to fit all of my hair into a claw clip and ha have it stay the whole time because that was my biggest problem is that my hair would come out easily or I couldn't find a claw clip that was big enough to fit all of my hair so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started Okay, so the first hairstyle is, of course, we're going to be using a claw clip for all of these hairstyles, but I got mine at Rite Aid, I believe. I got, like, the one that was, like, the biggest because I do have really long hair, and I find that it's, like, a lot thicker, and so I like to use a bigger one in case. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab my hair up into, like, I would say, like, a mid-pony. So just like above the nape of your neck and I will turn around all the way for you guys I've turned around and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist my hair up and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue twisting all the way till the very end of my hair and I again I do have really long hair so just keep that in mind so I'm twisting and then I'm going to bring it down and kind of create like a fold and then twist it in and connect the end right there if you guys can see. I hope this is like somewhat good. And then we're going to take our claw clip and secure that all in place and the trick is, is if you have thicker hair make sure you guys like clench the claws. A little bit so that it stays in place and now it kind of looks like this I know it looks a little bit crazy but what we're gonna do is take out our front section a little bit and smooth out some pieces if there are some pieces you don't like the good thing is is that the claw clip just opens right up and here we have it I'm going to just kind of take out my framing pieces I sometimes like to curl the front pieces so that they look a little bit cuter but this is the first hairstyle I think it looks really cute and adorable so let's just show you guys from the back so that is what it looks like from the back I think this one is super cute and just like a lot more elegant um, I probably wouldn't wear it with this outfit just because I feel like this outfit is more laid back, so I would probably wear this with like a dress or something. I think that would be cute, but that's the first one. Now, for the next one, this one is super duper easy. I'm not even going to like turn around for you guys because it's that easy. I like to just grab it kind of at the nape of my neck now. And what I'm going to do is just twist it a few times and then bring it up. So you just kind of like, let me show you guys that motion. You're twisting it and then you just kind of bring it up like that. And you're going to take the little end and just hold it there while you grab your claw clip and secure it. And again, just kind of like re-clench the little ends of the clip. And then you're just going to kind of adjust your little ponytail or like what's left of the ends of your hair. And just adjust it to make it look cute. I think this is one of my favorite hairstyles like I just think it looks very like Madison Beer-esque and I think it looks super cute with like this outfit this is probably the hairstyle I do the most when I am too lazy to do my hair so yeah I think this hairstyle with some gold hoops and like some dangling necklaces would be super cute for just like an effortless look but yeah this is the second hairstyle and it does work for long hair as you can see it kind of looks like a ponytail from like this angle but I think it looks super duper cute okay for the next hairstyle we are going to be doing a half up half down little moment so I'm gonna flip back around again but first I'm going to take a section of my hair right by my eyebrows and just grab 
that section of hair and make sure it's nice and clean. And now I'm going to turn around so you guys can see what I'm doing. So the first thing we're going to do is just twist the hair. So I'm grabbing my section and I'm creating a little twist. And what I'm going to do is just twist it. If you don't have super long hair, then you won't have to twist it as much and do this little folding moment. But I have really long hair, so it's kind of hard. And we're going to just leave the section out. And then we're going to take our clip and clip it right in the back like that. And this way... You just have a super cute half up, half down moment. I think this hairstyle is super cute if like you only have your clip and you want your hair out of your face like when you're eating or something. This is like a super cute little hairstyle. I think it looks a lot like harder than it actually is, but I love this one. It's super simple and super easy. So the last hairstyle I'm going to show you guys is going to be another one where we just do the full head of hair so what we're gonna do is this one's a little bit different we're gonna take our hair and divide it into three sections and start braiding it and I'm sure you guys just know how to do like one big regular braid so here I am taking the hair and just braiding it all along the bottom And we're just going to keep braiding until we reach, like, I would say almost the end, but not, like, completely. So, I'm going to leave just, like, a chunk of hair out. So, this much is good. And then I'm taking a little hair tie and I'm going to tie this here. Okay, it's very loose. And I'm just going to take out the front pieces already because why not? And then what we're going to do is just fold it into a little circle, wrapping it around. And then the ends, you're just going to tuck underneath and take your clip and secure it into place. This one I think looks super cute and intricate. I think it looks a little different than all of the other ones. Um, it's not just like a simple like twist around like it's actually a braid so it has more texture in it which I like. Alrighty everyone so I hope you guys enjoyed today's little hair styling video. Let me know if you guys like hair videos. I'm not the best at hair but I definitely try so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video though and please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.